up YouTube, it's Earth to Asia and I'm back with another video and today I will be doing, well first of all, first of all, first of all, skirt. Today is my nine month lock up first degree, okay? I'm just so proud of myself, like, I'm so determined, I'm so like committed to this lock journey and I've just, I've just come a long way. But today, I'll be sharing with you guys um, my night routine. So this will include like me washing my face, brushing my teeth, but also like what I do at night with my locks. This is not every night. Um, it's probably like every couple of nights or kind of like when I really, really, when I need to, obviously. Um, I am, I have been trying to get better with like a schedule as far as my hair is concerned. So yeah, another thing to mention before I get started, um is this angle so i don't have my well i do have my tripod but it's in my car so i don't have it physically in the room with me um so i'm kind of like i have like a little janky situation going i mean it's, it's not even that janky but it's kind of janky but we're gonna make it work for today so if you see me slouching a little bit i'm just trying to get in camera because if i sit up straight y'all not gonna be able to see all my head you know so yeah um if you see me looking this way i'm looking at the camera like sitting over here but I'm gonna try to look into the lens so I can see y'all and y'all can see me but yeah so like I said today I'll be doing my nighttime routine face everything what I do at night and then me what I'm gonna do to my hair tonight um before bed so let's get right into the video all right so y'all I like to first start off with some music put some jams on okay like I like to vibe out Dance with myself in the mirror, as you see I'm doing right here. You know, kind of extra, but that's just me. That's just me. So, you know, I take my Cetaphil. That's what I use, just regular for sensitive skin. I have super sensitive skin. And like I said, I was going to get into the red um, eye, under my eye. So, yeah, my I don't, typically for me, that means that I need more water. I need to be drinking more water. So it's gotten better now. Um, but at that time, I think that was that sign. Um, so yeah, I'm just washing my face with the Cetaphil Sensitive Skin. Looking, you know, <laughs> cute or whatever. So yeah, girl, just wash your face, wash your face, wash your face, wash under them eyes, get that mascara off. Oh, okay, next. I used to, I like to use, excuse me, rose water for my face. It really brings moisture back into my skin. Um, and as the video goes on, you'll see the redness honestly get a little bit better by the end um, once I moisturize it and everything. But I like to fan my face, fan my face, fan it out, girl. Let it dry. While I let that dry some more, I like to brush my teeth, you know, clean your teeth, y'all. <laughs> get that tongue, too. Get your tongue, too. Then some people might, you know, get on me for this, but I do use Q-tips still. Sometimes I like to use, you know, I get the rag too, because you know you're not really supposed to do that. But yeah, this is it's a medicine bottle, but that is um, my grapeseed oil. That's what I use to moisturize my face. I just put it in that empty medicine bottle. It was clean. I think I, my mom got it from some pharmacy. So yeah, I just put it in there. Um. Moisturizing my face some more, girl, you know, doing what it do because my skin is dry. I got some dry skin, especially in the winter, y'all, dry skin. So you can see the redness is getting a little bit better, a little bit. You can see me like, I'll probably start touching it, showing you guys it a little bit more, yeah. But it starts to get a little bit better. Then lip gloss, girl. Okay, you got to top it off with some lip gloss. My favorite lip gloss is from Bath & Body Works. Get you some if your Bath & Body Works still sells it, okay? Okay. So, next we're going to move on to my hair. <laughs> we're going to move on to the hair next, okay, y'all? And today I use some, well, I like to, not only today. This is what I use on my hair. Rose water and vitamin E oil. Vitamin E oil, y'all, it says it's for kids, but... Uh, I like the way it smells and I like the, what it does for my hair, so I use that. Okay, so here's what the locks are looking like at nine months, y'all. Look at the nine month locks. Okay, I'm gonna do a little turn around. Little turn around. Oh, look at the back. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. But it definitely, you can tell it's a little dry, so it needs to be moisturized. 
had a long day this day, you know, between school and work and everything. So spraying my hair with the rose water, letting it soak all into my hair, making sure I'm getting it on the ends too, because my ends are important. The ends are as much as important as the roots of your hair or the roots of your locks. So next I go in with the vitamin E oil. And by the way, this is not a sponsored video at all whatsoever. <laughs> I'm just sharing with you guys what I use. All right, so once I get that all over my scalp, all through the parts, I also like to put it on the length of my hair, also focusing on the ends as well. So get it all. I like to also section my hair into four quadrants. So um, yeah, that, you'll see that there. Put it on the back of your hair and the um, your edges as well. So now tonight I braided my hair, and I don't always do this, no. But I I just realized that my hair is finally long enough to get some type of texture to it, and I like I prefer the textured locks versus just the straight locks. So yeah, and it's so funny because when my hair was loose natural, I always I didn't like braid outs on my hair. I only like twist outs, but I've noticed that I've liked the braid outs on these locks. And it's super cool because I have 30 locks. So like I can do braids and twists if I decide to. Like two strand twists and I also can do braids. So that's cool because I have, you know, 30. Um, so yeah, I did that one on the side that I just finished doing kind of tight. But you'll see that I'll go back and I end up doing it because, y'all, my hair has gotten, since I've gotten locks, like my scalp has gotten even more sensitive, like more tender headedness. So yeah, I, ended, I eventually go back and I do that one over because it was just a little bit too tight for your girl. So, yeah, y'all. So, I'm just showing you the back. They starting to look a little crazy. It's okay because you're just going to bed. You're just going to sleep, okay? So, see, I did this one over. Oh, also, I, I didn't talk about the what I'm putting on the ends. I don't like to use rubber bands because... You know, rubber bands will snag your hair, and we don't want that. We don't want to lose no hair. So, see, they look a little crazy, girl. They look a little crazy, but that's okay, because guess what? You put your scarf on. You put your scarf on, okay? And y'all, look. Look at the redness under my eyes. It's starting to, like, you know, get a little bit better because I hydrated my skin, but really, I needed to drink more water, which I have been focusing on this week, and if you were to see me right now, it looks a lot better. So, put that bonnet on. Oh, my mom called me, so I'm talking yeah, to her. And that's it, y'all. I hope you guys enjoyed my night routine plus my lock night routine. Um, I typically don't always braid my hair, but I did, and I've been doing that for, I did this for this night and the night before. Um, so, but I definitely always moisturize my hair with the rose water and the vitamin E oil. I've gotten into a routine with that now, so yeah. Um, but I, I hope you guys enjoyed this short little video and make sure you like, comment, and subscribe and I'll be back with more videos. Peace!